All right, this is Mike from The Offering and Pyro Radio, and I'm here with JF from Cataclysm. How are you doing today, man? Very good, very good, uh, despite the rain and uh, everything else. But it's been a, a cool cool day so far, setting up, and lots of people still came to the show, so great, doing awesome. Yeah, it's pretty soaked in there. Everything's wet in there, but everybody's still coming through, so it's all good. So the Iron Will Tour just is about halfway through. How is the tour going so far for you guys? So far, it started pretty incredible. Uh, all the European shows, we did the festivals over there, and that's always really awesome and crazy. Lots of metal fans. And then the, the Canadian part was really awesome as well. Now we're back in the U.S. doing like a, the last two weeks of the, of the run. And so far, so good. So every day, people are coming out supporting us, and we're here touring to say thank you to all our fans for the last 20 years they keep supporting us uh, every time we come they, they buy our records or shirts or ticket concert tickets so it's a big thank you for everybody and we have we have two weeks left and then we fly to switzerland for one last festival and then we're taking a few weeks off and you guys are from Canada. The Canada shows must have been awesome since it's always nice to be home, right? Yeah, yeah we're kind of like the local heroes over there or whatever. <laughs> right. So it's like a, it's always cool. And we don't tour Canada a lot. We play a lot of, around our uh, our hometown, Montreal, and, and the surroundings. But to go through all of Canada, it's a long run to do. And uh, there's big distances between each city. So you need to get be prepared. And you can only do it like... Once in a, in a while, you can do it like uh, twice a year type of thing. All so right. we we do it like maybe once every couple of years. And every time, it's always a blast. Every, everybody come, comes out and it's a right. really cool cool thing. And for you guys, it's been just about over 20 years that the Cataclysm has been around, which congratulations, by the way. And did you ever think that you guys would be around for this long? Because not many bands can't say they made it 10 years, much less 20 Ah, never, never. We started this as a, as like everybody. We we're like four kids in a high school. I got together and started a band, and that's that. That was it. Like we, every year it, it grew a little bigger. We went through some hardships and and some good stuff as well. And we, uh, like, we kept going. And all uh, twenty years later, like you, I can't believe that already 20 years has gone by and and that we made it this far like every every time we do a little something new and like a a bigger festival or a bigger tour and you're like wow <laughs> i'm always still amazed and blown away it's always that amazement you guys have made it that far huh yeah yeah it's 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 because the the way the record industry works and especially be, like being in the underground jar and, and such it's like you, you, you never expect much from a, a musical career. You do it out of passion, out of uh, uh, like because you love it and because it's that's just what you do. And and to last that long, it's like you, you look back at it and it's an accomplishment for sure. We're we're very uh, uh, happy and 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 we we're hoping that we get to play a lot longer and that we get we can still write like relevant songs and albums and stuff. That's important also to us. And after being in the metal scene for 20 years, now the metal scene that you see now, what are your thoughts about that now? It keeps changing in different ways. I think nowadays the, the cool thing is that it's so much easier to promote yourself as a band because of the internet and the, the new technologies that are available to you. Like also, especially for, for the recording, producing, we're, we're doing everything ourselves and we have like all the, 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 the equipment to, to do so and I'd say if I go back 20 years that wouldn't be possible because you had to go to a big expensive studio and spend a lot of money for not a whole lot of time and the, the, everything changed also on the touring end like what I remember when we started touring in vans the map quest didn't exist like the GPS didn't exist you we had like big maps and trying yeah. to figure out point A to point B and and nowadays like that's so much easier you just pull up your phone and you're like doo -doo 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 -doo. okay <laughs> going to next city and, and stuff like that you're just it's uh, a lot of uh, a lot is a lot is better nowadays but the fans I say metal fans really never change metal fans are, is a metal fan and and it's the same also everywhere in the world is I just say like sometimes like the musical s style that would be more in fashion would change a little bit but I I'd say cataclysm the, the thing with us is we never 
were really a trendy band or followed any fashion so we're always been there doing our thing kind of on the side of everything else that was going on at the time and it kept changing around us but we just keep we just kept going straight and and we're still here 20 years later so after 20 years you never find it uh difficult to keep just keep going just have the energy for it all the time uh, not really i mean if you're if it's your life and your passion like you just go for it you keep going all right and other than cataclysm you're also a producer and engineer right yes yes so you always have something to do other than just cataclysm right? yeah because I, i i'm the type of guy i like to keep busy uh i can't really go home and just sit on the couch for like a month I, I, it's not really my style I, i like to to keep busy and the producing thing keeps me busy and it's in within the record uh, within the, the music uh, industry or what's it a music uh I kind of call it uh, uh, it's just music in my life in general like I um, to me like I, I love uh, I love the producing side of things because you get to be creative with the uh, uh, different genres of music and different bands that don't sound quite like what we do so you, you can add on your creativity uh, to it and then uh, also the the mixing part I really like because it's very technical and you gotta fit every instrument in the in the musical uh, spectrum and that's also interesting to do to try to separate every instrument and send them to different frequencies of the spectrum and make sure everything is well balanced and they can hear everything and it's punchy and everything so uh, that's that's also interesting yeah all right so the iron wheel dvd just came out this summer for fans who haven't gotten a chance to check it out what could you tell them to expect i i'd, I'd say it's a cool dvd it's very honest uh, it's it's really uh, us like we, they, we had Tommy Jones the producer was uh, following us for three years filming everywhere we went so all the cool moments in the DVD it's like nothing was staged basically and nothing was faked or like we it was just us the way we are and it's a cool thing for our fans to be able to learn about the, all our personalities and, and the way we, we do things and it's very it's all there the whole story of the band is there from the beginning it's very detailed so you can Uh, get a good uh, grasp of uh, cataclysm and get uh, a good feel for the band. I think even if you don't like the music, it's a really cool story and documentary. And not only are you releasing the Iron Will DVD, well, not only did you release it this year, but you're also coming out with a new album for Exdeo, yes. which is uh, Caligula. Mm -hmm. And that actually happens to be on uh, Caligula's two, two, was it 2000th birthday, right? Yep. And how excited are you for that? Uh, super stoked that we, uh, <laughs> the album is like, we work so hard on it, and everybody's really, uh, like we're all really stoked about it. We can't wait to hit the road with it, and also see the comments from the, from our fans for for the XDO because, I think it's a masterpiece album. I'm, I'm very one of the album. I'm really proud of it on on every aspect, like from the songwriting to the producing to the, the like everything we're. 100% really proud of it so can't wait to get like the the feedback from everybody else on it all right and when it comes to writing music for cataclysm and xdo do you go through the same writing process or do you try to switch it up just a little bit so it doesn't sound the same or i feel with xdo you're like you're uh, the the what we can achieve with it is much more uh, bigger because we were first of all we're two guitar players And uh, also the the Roman team is uh, the mag the magnitude of the empire the Roman Empire is like so much you can do musically with it so it's like the, there's no boundaries you just go for it and and, and the orchestrations all is all is there to make it like uh, that much more deeper but Cataclysm is more an in your face like a straightforward band as as XDO is more of like a a deep symphonic like with a lot of layers of, of, of stuff musically I think uh, they're, they're both very different beasts but at the same time like uh, when we write I, I don't try to put myself in a certain mind frame I like sit, like when we wrote for Caligula every song had a theme and I was trying to picture that theme in my head and, and try to come up with the musical soundtrack to it and that's how we wrote the XDO All right. And speaking of albums, do you guys plan on working on a new Cataclysm album anytime soon? Uh, of course. Uh, once we're done with all the XDO stuff, we'll get back to Cataclysm and, and work our asses off to create a new, a new album. But 
I the way the schedule looks, I don't see it happening before 2014 or something right. like that because we're gonna be busy all year still. So, uh, but then we we were gonna kick our asses off and then write a record, record, and get on the road again. All right. And last question for somebody who's been in the metal scene for so long and has accomplished so much. For any aspiring uh, metal musician, what would you? What kind of advice would you give them? I say just follow your your art, your passion, and don't listen to anybody else what they what they tell you. Just do whatever you want to do, and I think it's the way to go to uh, to 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 make it in this industry. You gotta be yourself, and you gotta you just gotta like you look at what's going on around you. You don't don't, don't listen or follow the trends. Just be who you are. And that's the best advice I can give. I'd say if you guys, anybody that wants to watch our DVD, I think it's a good uh, learning tool for a band that wants to to do this because uh, you see it all the way it works in the music industry and everything, and, and it's a it's a good lesson. I'd say. All right, well, Jeff, thank you again for taking the time doing this interview. We really appreciate it. So I'm Mike, and I'm here with uh, Jeff from Cataclysm, and uh, thank you very much for everybody and all our fans. Cheers.